Welcome to the sixth annual Spring Student Film Screening at the New York City College of Technology, City Tech. I'm your host, Daryl Ford, a student in the Department of Entertainment Technology, ENT. We're known for bringing you the Haunted Hotel and also the ENT News, which I've also gotten to be a part of for the last couple of semesters, once as a video editor and a host. I'm also graduating this semester, so shout out to the class of 2021. This is the second time that we'll be collaborating with the Department of Communication Design, COMD, and I'm proud to present many films produced in various classes in both the ENT and the COMD departments. These films were made in the fall of 2020 and spring of 2021. Most of us have been studying remotely since last spring, but since students have produced excellent films nonetheless. Now, I'd like to pass this off to the chair of the ENT department, Professor John McCullough, for some opening remarks. Thanks, Daryl. I'm proud to be able to present the student film screening this year. This has been a challenging year for everyone, but our students have really persevered and produced some outstanding work. Tonight, you'll see a broad range of projects. Some of them are responses to class prompts or assignment instructions. Some of them express more personal stories but all of them showcase the combination of technical skill and creative thinking that will let these creators thrive in the industry when they graduate. I'd like to thank all of the students for sharing their work with us tonight, and I'd like to thank everyone watching for helping us to celebrate their achievements. Back to you, Daryl. Thanks, Professor. Now, before the first films, I'd like to point out that below the YouTube video screen in the description box, right under the thumbs up, you can find the program and the schedule. We welcome the viewers to leave comments in the chat. Post your favorite emojis. Tell us what you like, tell us what you love. Now, we'll be presenting two films from the ENT 3290 Digital Video Camera course. For the final project, students were assigned to reconnect with their families or reflect on their lives. This first film is about growing up and moving around internationally as a child of a diplomat. The second film is a well-documented actual event of one of our fellow students proposing to his fiance at the Brooklyn Heights Promenade in November 2020. This wasn't a school assignment, but he had the whole remote classroom going, ah. We hope to pull on your heartstrings as well. Please enjoy. Traveling is a huge part of my life. I pack and unpack boxes whenever the government tell us to move. At the end of every four years, my parents remind me to pack my belongings, and I realize that the time has come again for me to say goodbye to my existing surroundings and start again in my new home. Learning about different languages and cultures as I moved around was one of my biggest challenges, but it has been a major part of my personal growth. It is an unstable upbringing. Moving around every three or four years, you make a lot of friends, but no real lasting friendship, and sometimes getting involved with the wrong company. I gained a lot by being all over the world as a child. However, I miss growing up with my cousins and being close to them, and all the experience they shared while I was on the other side of the world. I don't have those lasting friendships that are forged by going to the same school. Being a diplomat's child sounds fun, but in reality it's not. And whenever I go back home, the home looks the same, smells the same, feels the same. You'll realize what's changed is you.
the whole thing was confusing when I was little. I didn't understand why I had to leave while my friends stayed behind, or why I had to learn new customs and traditions, or why I couldn't eat pepperoni pizza while other kids in my school could. I have spent my life trying to fit in. I always wanted to please people and to receive approval from anyone and everyone. Without even realizing, I would change myself, my desires, and sometimes my opinions to fit in whatever mold was required at that time. But if you are constantly trying to prove your worth to people, it may be true that you have already forgotten your value. Let go of who you think you should be and be who you are. Everyone is coming out of their own closets, emerging to be the person they really are, their true self. I'm worried about what others may think. Don't change so people will like you. Be yourself, and the right people will love you. Hey, baby. Wait, what? Here's for you. <laughs> Wanna walk with me? <laughs> you gotta got get that one. Okay. Talking a lot of her. <laughs> you know what's about to happen. Right? Well, it's okay. So, Alicia, in this very same location, almost six years ago, we stood here to begin our first date. In this spot, I read my first love letter to you. We shared our first kiss, and you cried, and you blamed it on the wind. And together we decided to begin on a journey that was in the making for a very long time. From that very day, I've grown in love with you more than I ever thought was humanly possible. You cheered me on when I was at my best, and you encouraged me when I was at my worst. You have always, always shown love towards me even when you didn't feel like it. You've pushed me to become a better man, and sometimes you literally just pushed me. The memories we made up until this point has been some of the best moments of my life, and I know we have so many more to make. Baby, you know I love you, and you have always and will always be the most beautiful person, beautiful woman I've ever laid my eyes upon and I never want to let you go. So, Alicia. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Alicia R. Davis. Will you please marry me?
I hope you enjoyed the opening films. The next two shorts are from the ENT 1190 video technology course. The assignment is known as the desktop cinema. Without a camera, students were instructed to create, shoot, and edit a movie at home in the desktop cinema style. They use screen recordings, stock footage, and beyond. Let's see what these creative students have made. I sit here in my room alone, and I think to myself, the things I think about, hmm. We have Tupac blasting out the jukebox. I'm screaming in the field, who's hot? I'ma kick your butt so bad you got. The feeling of my shoe like you lose socks. I'm in a class of video technology and for it. I'm giving a lyrical rap honestly. When I express it, I'm getting respect probably. What that does is give me a spiritual step high and steep. Yeah, I live in the apple like a computer. I'm already helping your life in some futures. But I rule your cars and rule your parking meters. So they always try to send a meter at one ruler. I fly to the sky and ride a unicorn. A luminous ray of light shines when my music's born. When it touches a person, it change who is torn. Now he's carried by crews with horns and trumpets. We do some more lately nowadays. We should show a crisis. We're all bottled up, that's why it's a coronavirus. Now I'm in my room with my emotions tightens. Tall and only fighting, swords with pirates. My lyrics are movies, if that's your one question. They're films that can show a video from message. But they're expressions, cause it's cinema style. I have you searching for someone unfriended. That's a few things of what I think while I'm sitting in my room. I think I'm going to go outside and play basketball now. Welcome back. 
Now we will showcase four of the eight videos from the COMD department. They were produced in COMD 3620 video production for commercials. The assignment was to choose a company and create an animated identity. Also in COMD 3621 motion design technique, students were instructed to research, conceptualize, storyboard, design, animate, and create short video which should have substantial motion design presence and editing of video footage. These videos vary between 20 seconds to a minute to 15 minutes each. I hope you enjoy. We hope you're enjoying the films from both the ENT department and the COMD department. 
Next, we have two films from the ENT 4390 Advanced Video Editing course. The final assignment was to express how COVID-19 lockdown affected the students personally and emotionally. I haven't been outside for about three months now. It is now mid-May and I've been trying to keep myself busy with doing yoga, learning a new skill. but mostly playing Animal Crossing since it came out on March 20th. But I wonder, what are my friends up to? All right, I think it should be recording. Yeah, I think it's recording. Okay, perfect. So, hello. Hi. How you been? I've been all right. I've been good. How are you? Pretty good. Um, so why don't you start off by saying your name? Uh, so my name is Nice Avshalumova. Nick Malios. Sophia Maida. Zamar Santos. Ryan Anna. James Akatasle. What were you doing um, before this quarantine? I was a receptionist. A uh, audio mixer for a bar in Astoria which closed down and now I'm unemployed. Well, I was a intern for a audiovisual company. I was formerly a student, but I guess I'm still a student, but just online. A cashier at a coffee shop in Manhattan. Sound engineer, live technician. Uh, I'm going to be a mover this week, actually. I'm starting to do moving and stuff like that. And then um, what have you been doing since you have more free time now? Uh, I'm building a little fortress in, in, in Minecraft. Basically, we were just supposed to go in, out and explore the world, but I don't like going out and exploring the Minecraft world without having like a good settlement to start off with. But the thing is, whenever I make a settlement, I always get carried away and trying to make it like super cool. So right now I made a fortress that has three watchtowers, a trading post with like an apartment building right next to it, a home for me, a home for Nick, a home for um, my friend Sid, and Dean is building his house like on the other side of town. I also have a floating island above it, and I have like a little farm, and uh, we're working on a few other things inside the, the fortress, but that's what I made in Minecraft. I have been doing all my schoolwork. <laughs> I've been doing all my schoolwork. Uh, sleeping i really haven't been doing anything i just kind of been here living i've been honestly just been lying down in bed listening to music pretty much hanging out with my dog doing homework i'm drinking and i'm being completely honest um let me ask one more question so once this quarantine is over what is the first thing you're gonna do mm, i'm gonna fix my bangs because i cut my bangs so i'm gonna make an appointment to fix my bangs then get my passport photo retaken throwing some parties i plan on going to concerts basically everything that i was allowed to do but was canceled because of the coronavirus my job back but Knowing we're going to be like the last phase out, I'm not going to have a job for a while, so I probably would have to look for something else. Go to my girlfriend's house and see her, because I haven't seen her in like, whenever quarantine started. Go see my partner. Take her out to dinner. <laughs> get some money in my pocket, get to work, and uh, other than that, I have no idea. <laughs> So after three months of not going outside, I finally went outside and it's a really nice day today and it's getting really hot now 
and I hope this clears up by summertime. But let's see. Let's see. Tonight, a rapidly evolving public health emergency. We're really probably at the tip of the iceberg in understanding how contagious it really might Another be. Another day. Don't know which day it is. These days seem like they're running together. Uh, I think I've done everything I could do. I think I've done everything twice over. Days are starting to get to me. Can't tell if there's a future I'm looking toward or if there's a future at all. It's the same routine, rinse and repeat. I'm wondering how long it is until I lose a grip on reality. Or nowhere near as prepared as you need to be. There are weaknesses Look out the window. Another dreary day. Try to stay active. Keep the body fresh. Keeps the mind right. Right? I don't know. I'm starting not to pay attention to the news anymore. I say no news is good news at this point. Fear spreads in the U.S.
somebody has to. Can't be the only one going crazy. Stay safe. Hey, welcome back. How's everyone out there dealt with their lockdown? Now that things are opening back up and everyone's getting vaccinated, I think it's a perfect time to reflect a little. For me, taking Zoom classes online to finish up my fall semester wasn't the most ideal thing. I didn't see it coming at all. But I definitely do miss the talented classmates, the awesome professors, plus problem solving and learning in person in the Voorhees Theater. It's the best part. I'd have to say we replicated it pretty nicely online though, considering we ran the ENT news from home and we even had the virtual haunted hotel. Although COVID is giving us tons of challenges, we've definitely 100% come up on top with new skills. The one thing I'll miss though, into no commute to school. Rolling out of bed, sitting right here, boom, class time. Both a positive and a negative though, because those 8 a.m. classes, a doozy. Now, so in the ENT department, we have two programs, emerging media and entertainment technology. Entertainment tech is for students in video, audio, lighting, scenery, management, and show control. Emerging media is for creative souls in the expanding emerging media industries of New York City and beyond. The capstone course in both the entertainment tech and emerging media programs is the ENT 4490 culmination project. Students decide on what project to work on within their discipline, and then they're mentored by a technical advisor among the faculty that's in their field. Now, we'll feature two of the culmination films from the Entertainment Technology Program. Both of them are narrative films, written, directed, shot, and edited by the students themselves. As an EN2 student myself, and be on behalf of the Entertainment Technology Department, please enjoy. We sure don't. Here at Perseus, we aren't just the biggest retailer in the world, we're the only retailer. And in this fast developing and interconnected world, it's important to make sure that all of our operations run smoothly. Buying or selling any non-Perseus approved item is highly illegal. So if you see any suspicious activity involving contraband merchandise, report it immediately. From all of us at Perseus, we thank you for your continuing support. Thank you, and have a great day. You know you sweat too much. I'm, I'm sorry? I'm saying you sweat too much for a fixer. I don't think perspiration has anything to do with... Perseus works hard to root out the movement of the contraband. You were stupid enough to think you could move it. Linus, if you're capable of smart decision making, I'd suggest you listen to us. There's another fixer operating in a district near yours. Our intel shows she's a college age female. Law enforcement attracts too much attention, so we need a fixer to get in close to her. Intercept the contraband and the patrols will pick her up. You do this, and you're free to go.
200 feet from the flag in the bushes. The stands, shoebox, 30 minutes. Backyard, in the ground, right in the middle.
the ground. See how you are? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's show them. There you go. Just go take a piss. Go back to sleep.
you up now. We work with the appetite. I'm hungry. It's facts. What you wanna eat? I just get DoorDash. But I want some of that chocolate for dessert. Are you in a cavity, huh? Maybe. Alright. Well, I'll get French toast with egg whites. And turkey bacon, well done. I got you. I like that. What are you gonna have? Mm, I'm not the same thing. Nah, Alright. Cool. It's on the way. The fuck? But I could use the round three right now. I, I, I don't know, man. I need a little bit more energy. I got some energy for you. How long the food gonna take? Ten minutes. Let me use what? your charger. What happened? This phone is always dying. Just. Is that the end of the bit? Wanna watch a movie? Some bad hair? Mm hmm It's getting kinda spicy. Alright, you can finish that. You want to get that, or you want me to? No, I got it. That was rhetorical. I'm outside. Who Addy is this? Who this? Just hang up. Who the fuck is you? Give Kim the phone. Just give me the phone. Hang up. Oh, she'll be right out. Get dressed. What? What the fuck? Just. Forget it. Don't go out there. Fuck that nigga. He leaves. You already Kay. did, Kim. And now he's outside my crib. Now, we'll see four more films from the COMD department. They're from the courses which I already mentioned. COMD 3620 Video Production for Commercials and COMD 3621 Motion Design Technique. Enjoy.
We're getting close to the end of the screening. Here are two more ENT culmination films. This first one is a documentary, and the second one, a sci-fi. After these films, we'll have one more surprise. Stay tuned. I moved to uh, Bed-Stuy, I've been here not quite three years, maybe two and a half years. And one day the homeowner invited me to come across the street to show me a vacant apartment that was here. And I couldn't understand really why I was being shown another apartment because I was satisfied with the one that I had. So. I came to see the apartment, he asked me if I liked it, I said, what's not to like? And he says, well, if you like it, you can move in by, you know, um, the beginning of the next month. So I went through everything I went through, I accepted, and while I was settling in, like two months later, I was walking across the floor and I received another insight that says, you were moved across the street because your store is downstairs. So I texted him and I told him what I had just received and he asked me what I was doing and I said nothing. He said, meet me downstairs and I'll show you the space. Priestess Yendis Nefer Atum is the founder and owner of the Ancient Blends Apothecary in Brooklyn. She is just one of more than 30 shops that has opened on Tompkins Avenue in the past decade. What began as a career in hairdressing, Priestess Yendis has repeatedly and continuously transformed her home business, the Cowrie Shell Center, into a career that spanned over the past 30 years. She has turned her homemade natural plant-based hair care products from a local market to a store and online international business. According to NewYorkFuture.org, in New York City, African Americans make up about 22% of the population, but only 3.5% of small businesses. However, this is an increase of 30% since 2012. Not only do small businesses create a unique and positive identity in their communities, but they increase the environmental health, economic gain, local tax base, and create local jobs. So we opened this physical space on December 26th last year, um, 2019. And um, then we got the news of COVID uh, three days shy of three months of being in this space. But I, and then we went into quarantine, March 23rd was our last day here. I feel that it was just enough time, those three months, for them to fall in love with the products and know that it was something that they wanted to incorporate, uh, felt an energy from it that made them want to come back and, and get more. And then the end of May, that last weekend, when we were told we could do sidewalk service, I came back down on a Friday. And then I looked up and down a block and I see more and more businesses coming out on the sidewalk. So I said, I'll do the whole weekend. But what I noticed is I was wearing my copper and from that first and second weekend, I noticed that my copper was turning colors. It's usually very, very, very vibrant. So 
that let me know watching my copper turn like almost dark brown, you know, deep orange, burnt orange. It let me know that me, the energy outside was really, really different. So there was a fear. There was a, stag a stagnant, fearful energy and I was picking it up. And uh, I'm happy to say now uh, my copper is shining. So that definitely speaks to the level of level of fear is down a little bit. You know, people are taking charge more. They're, they're grounded a little bit more on this is the new way of doing things and develop new ways and, and we're adapting. I am so happy to tell you that all of the products are popular. Every weekend we are basically sold to the rafters, sold out to the rafters of each of these products. They tune in as soon as they walk in, it's like they're pulled in by the scents outside that's wafting out and then they, they come in and relax with the experience. First and foremost, when people come in, we, we share the san hand sanitizer that I created. I've uh, combined elements that are it's going to bring moisture to the hands. It's an upper respiratory uh, building formula, not just uh, a germ, a bacterial formula. And the products are healing tools offered as these amazing cosmetics. They're, they're loose leaf teas to drink for healthy hair, skin and nails. Uh, the body butters are also hair creams. I invite you to anoint yourself with the body butters, not just rub them on because you have dry skin. I, I'm offering relaxing, I'm offering grounding, I'm offering uh, just peace and, and self-care. This is what the offering, the ancestors had the bird's eye view. This is why they needed a steward of this portal. They needed a, a guardian of this portal. I am a healer. I am a, a, a person that guides someone and reinforces in them that they can heal themselves. And as far as also what I am for the community is uh, I'm that oracle. Even though we, we're not really seeing each other, we're seeing each other because now we're looking into the windows the soul, we're looking into each other's eyes because the mouth is covered. So we're, there's a trust that is being built from my mouth to their ears. I'm being asked more and more uh, to mentor and I'm so I'm setting up to be able to do that moving forward. This is where, this is the next level of Ancient Blends Apothecary. I have not started seeing clients again uh, for Kari Shell. I haven't done any yoni steams or, or hair care services since the shutdown. And this is because I'm getting the, the insights and the downloads that I'm not to touch anyone. What is being sewn on to me or what is being given to me when I come back, when I come forward to, to accepting clients again, is going to be so much more than what I had to offer before. So it has to be a cocooning for me first before I have anything to offer because when they come back, there's probably going to be so much and I, I can't I can't not be prepared for that because then I risk myself being in an unwell situation taking on so much and even though me the person Yendez I miss my clients and I ask my clients to honor that and just sit still and when we rejoin each other it's going to be beautiful it's going to be magical and they're going to get so much more as always than just getting their hair done. Where, where am I? What is this place? Oh, hello there, Triple X. 
you should be asleep by now. But no worry. What is this? I was just about to email you. What is the good news? Sir, the good news is that the experiment was a success. But... But... Yes, he is sitting underwater as if he can actually breathe underwater. I will send you the live footage and see for yourself. That's right. 
This is my apartment. But how did I get here? This body belongs to me. My powers. I cannot feel my powers. You took everything from me. You will pay for this. Done to me. Well, well, well. You still awake? I will say this one more time. We were once strong as one until they separated us. Where am I? Get me out of here! They betrayed me and sent me out of space. Let I, I don't care. I, I don't care. You just let me out of here. Give me back my body. Get me out. I don't have time for this. Time is missing. Pathetic. 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 Get me everything, everything from me. me. We've shown you all the films for this event, but before we wrap up, I'd like to tell you that in part of ENT 3320 tech production, the ENT department produces a weekly live streaming show called the ENT News. Although we were all remote, we managed to successfully collaborate to present each meaningful story in this news program. The program will continue next semester. Let me show you a clip from one of the last episodes of the ENT News. But first, as a host for this semester from the ENT News, I've, along with Amar Santos and Jake Babich, I've got to say it's been one of the best times I've ever had. Professor Saad and Professor Ol Olswang are doing an amazing job teaching us the inner workings of a live t 
TV production and in this world streaming online virtually. So I do think this is a very valuable skill that us as the students are learning and it's tons of fun. So let me not hold you up any longer. Here's the ENT news. Oh, Miss Terminal was a lonely one. Never did get to become Mrs. Graves, though. So it was just kind of fun to get into the idea of this guy who, you know, wants to be helpful, but everything just keeps going wrong. It's like a spooky comic relief. Here's the best of season two of the Bindle Stim Family Circus. But wait, there's more. There's only one thing I've learned that I can really trust when it comes to depression. And that is, of course, common hardware. Now, since this is a show run by City Tech students, we thought it would be cool to talk to some people who've been where we were. What do you guys plan on being five years from now? Like, I know it's like a big kind of like interview question. Please don't forget to subscribe to our TikTok, Twitch, and YouTube for all that great content. All right, and that was the ENT News. If you like that, just type in ENT News City Tech right here on YouTube and it'll pop right up. But now it's time to say goodbye until next year. I'd like to thank all the students who participated, the faculty and the staff in both the ENT and COMD departments at City Tech. Thank you so much for watching the sixth annual Spring Student Film Screening. I'm your host, Daryl Ford, and I've hoped You've enjoyed all the films that we've screened here for you tonight. Please stay safe and take care.